to Monster Mania. <laughs> Why so serious? Welcome to Monster Mania. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey Dave, what's up brother? Hi Jeff. Hi John. Whose car is it today? Oh, it's John's. What's going on at 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock pictures with Burt Ward in the Batmobile. Here I am with my good buddy John, who I often call Brooklyn John. And uh, you wanted to show me some of your uh, autographs. Is this really Burgess Meredith signed that? That's it. Phenomenal. And you have a Batarang you want to show me? Yep. Who signed that, John? We got Julie Numa, Adam West, Bart Ward, and Lee Merriweather. Fantastic. And the car has a couple signatures as well? Yes. We got Adam West. Wow. Very nice. Who else do we have? Julie Newmar. Julie Newmar again. She says perfect. Now who's the blue one? Frank Gorshin, the Riddler. Wow. So you've had this car a while. Yeah, Lee Merriweather. Lee Merriweather. George Barris four times. George Barris signed it four times. Four different events. And who signed the uh, fire extinguisher? Lee Merriweather. Lee Merriweather again. Burt Ward Robin, who we, we should have at the car later today. 
And then we got Cesar Romero. Oh my God, Cesar Romero, the Joker himself. So these have all been what, over the last 15 years maybe? Yep. Wow, okay. And then we got Tom Hardy, he's the original Bane from The Dark Knight. Okay, where's he? He's right over there. On the black panel. Yeah. Tom Hardy, Bane. Who else do we have? We got another Lee Merriweather on the dash. Lee Merriweather. Oh yeah, got it. Amazing, John. I'm almost speechless. Here we are, back at Monster Mania, August 2014. Let's do this. Another Monster Mania, another round of uh, celebrities that Denny's in love with. We are here now to see Jin from Lost. Glenn from Walking Dead. Man, you're so Got it. stupid. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this one here. <laughs> okay, that'll be uh, 80. Okay. Which one are you getting? I don't know yet. You do like a petty one. I have like a serious one. So. Are you getting one autograph and one photo? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's 80. Yes. I feel like 10 or 20. I do feel like Okay. I bet they have a Thank you. Why do you look so arrogant today? All right, there's Julian Sands from Tons of Stuff. Oh, Ron? Oh, we're rolling. Oh, oh, here we are with Mike from Amazing Con uh, at Monster Mania, uh, one of our friends. And uh, we're having a good time as usual, Mike. And uh, what's this all about? This is from uh, Opie from Mayberry. This is Carl's gun from uh, Walking Dead. This isn't from Lost? Yeah. I think you're lost. <laughs> Here we are back at Monster Mania with the lovely Danielle Frazetta and her assistant. Danielle, what have you been up to creatively lately? Well, creatively, I have my own horror realm over here of, of death of childhood. I don't really know what you'd say it, but it's an endearing uh, situation. Wait, what did you do to Shaggy and Scooby? This is... Shaggy had uh, a little help, actually. Um, a dog decided to, to help me out and, and ripped his eyes out for me. So, you know, I, uh, I kind of went with it. And what else do you have? Um, well, that was a jewelry box, and I saw um, Barbie torture chamber. <laughs> Don't know what that means by me, but. Sure. And what about these poor souls? Well, Pluto, of course, and you know your Angelica. I figured she always has her Cynthia Barbie doll carrying around, so I kind of figured that uh, made the most sense, you know. Very nice, and your eyeballs, which I am a big fan of. And then Barney, just tell me about Barney. And well, I mean, I, he's always telling the kids to clean up all the time, so I figured we'd clean him up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think I've seen enough. are back with Manda. Hi. It's Manda Chaos. How you doing? I'm awesome. How are you? Good. You got anything new to show us? I did this Frankie the other day. Isn't it awesome? It's a, like a sculpture? Yeah. It's it, a um, ceramic piece. And then I hand painted it. Is it like a cookie jar? No. He, uh, you put lights underneath it. His eyes glow. Very nice. 
And uh, we have one of your original art purchasers here. Which one did you buy? Had to be Jack and Sally. And you bought the actual original art. These are just prints. Beautiful prints, but Denny is the fine owner of that. I am very partial to Yoda. That's because he's just as old as him. <laughs> and uh, the father from Malcolm in the Middle. I also enjoy that one. That's very nice. And who's this dragon girl? That's Khaleesi, or Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. And the autograph? Uh, Lori Petty, or Tank Girl. Lori Petty, Tank Girl. Yeah. I met her here last year. Awesome. How's your thumb? Sad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It'll be better. We won't tell every, anyone how that happened. No, I won't. I was killing ninjas. Yes. <laughs> I got somebody I'd like you to kill. <laughs> hey! Hi! Guys, I was walking towards the booth. I didn't even see you. How are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Wow. What's up? I know. All the no. Are you Tim? With hair? Good lord, he looks different. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Let me take a quick here? photo. No, we've been here all morning. Since and I mean. Like eight. Really? Yeah, we're here with the Batmobile. I got the, um... Well, I wanted to do the whole thing with Glenn. I wanted to get it over with. Because I'm working the booth. Yeah, I have the bender. I'm you look adorable. Thank you. Oh, my lord. Lolita Zombie, you've outdone yourself. Thanks. This is Betty from Archie Comics, right? What? No, it's not like Archie. I'm Juliet Starling. Lollipop Chainsaw? Is that a board game for like Candyland? Oh my god. Uh, I guess no, no. I'm a zombie hunter. And you're Juliet the Starling. St okay. And you you kill zombies. Yeah, I'm a zombie hunter. Top notch zombie hunter, if I say so myself. Can I see your whole costume? Sure. Oh my god. You look lovely. Thank you, guys. You sure you're not Betty from Archie Comics? Positive. Right. She's too much for me. Is it included? No. Let's see that. Nice, here we go. So we have Vern Troyer, and then we have Adam West and Burt Ward over here. And hopefully we'll see Burt Ward over by the Batmobile later. <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? I like Dave. Who's gonna sit in that? Andrew, what did I sorry? What are you guys gonna do with this? It's his. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's signed. In the front, it's signed. Are you coming back in? Bert Ward. Adam West. And perfect Julie Newmar. Now, John, when you have these superstars of the Batman world sign it, how do you preserve these autographs? I always, I come back and I put like a clear coat on top of it. This way it lasts forever and the sun never affects it and people touch it. People love to touch it. Now something like with Burgess, Meredith, Cesar Romero, Frank Gorshin, these guys have been gone a long time. Yes. Do you have to clear coat it once a year? Uh, no, I clear coat it, you know, one time and I just be very, very careful because you can distort if you overdo it. <laughs> These are absolutely amazing. What are they made of? 
They're actually just random thrift store statues that I covered in uh, banana fiber papers and um, different types of uh, origami paper. And if you look all the way over there at like that unicorn in there, in there, there's uh, peacock feathers that are the black veins. Wow. Most of this stuff comes from thrift stores, and uh, we actually have it in our lobby at House of a Thousand Tattoos in Middlesex. My name is Rick Shrek. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. These are gruesomely beautiful. Thank you. And who are you? I am Jill. This is Jill's Creatorium. Um, these are all repurposed from thrift stores, and all my ladies here have dead ladybugs and rubies on them. Very nice. How long does it take you to make these? A uh, couple hours each. And, and then I also have uh, hand-stitched little monsters, too. Awesome. And where could we find you on the internet? You can find me at jillscreatorium.com, um, on Facebook, and Etsy at SoSgusted. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. John. John Sanchez, buddy. What are you looking at? John? Burt Ward and Adam West autograph. You got that today? Yes, sir. How much was it? A lot of cash. <laughs> was it worth it? Oh, definitely, man. You gonna hang it over your bed? No. <laughs> it goes in the bat cave. Awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, friend. You guys, as children, didn't know that. <laughs> but as you grew up, you would appreciate it and enjoy the laughs, and you saw different things. And I think that's why we've had this longevity that is an evergreen, because we played it on several levels. And we all got together in the beginning and, and agreed to do it that way. And when people tried to stop me, I just did the listen and did my thing. I become a black belt years before, and he and I used to spar together for real. And then when we did the show on Batman, the reason why they, they appeared on the show is the same executive producer that produced Batman was producing the Green Hornet. And what better way to introduce it to the world than on the most popular show in the world? So we did our fight scene, and, and the little piece of trivia is that Bruce Lee's first cinematic fight scene was fighting me. I think that will be very good because you never know about the surprises in acting. Look at this. This was the biggest surprise of my career. That this young man was so courageous, excellent, and I mean, he had the energy and the drive and the fun, and the thinking funny to play Robin. Nobody else could have done it. <laughs> Only if you'll vote for me. <laughs> I'm running on graft and corruption in Kohan. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> is the most famous car in the world. And it's funky. It's fun. It's interesting. It's not, it doesn't have that tank-like quality of the new ones. And I think the kids, every poll shows that they love our carpet. But I think that reflects the thinking in Hollywood. Movies are getting more and more grotesque more explosions, you know, more than the fireworks. Well, the Batcave was uh, torn down, otherwise uh, another network wanted to pick up the show. And we, Bert and I were a little tired of doing it anyway.
way. I mean, 18 hour a day, shuttle running around in itchy tights or stuff. <laughs> so, if you really wanted to know what happened to the Bat King, it's, it's in storage at Adam West's house that he sells pieces of. You know what I mean? So, if you want a little trinket, you can work it out. You just go on Adam West Naked, is that what your uh, website is? <laughs> Don't work you out of the <laughs> Entirely wrong, Bert. You go on AdamWest.com and I'll sell you a little vial of dirt from the bed. Okay. No, no. What, what he's talking about, as part of the sweeping of the new Blu-ray DVD, they're including Adam West naked. Everything I ever reveal about the show backstage. Keep it going, guys. Ah. Ah. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Tim. Hello. How you doing? Go back. Better this way. Now they know my secret is Why not? Send over. <laughs> okay, Danny, we're here with Daryl, Daryl from The Walking Dead. Man, you got problems. So, where did you get your fangs? Custom made by Horror Show Jack. Awesome, awesome. Hey Dave. Oh God, where did you get yours? I got mine at the dollar store. Ooh. Okay, what's this all about? Uh, well, we make zombie babies. Um, we're contagious creations. We have an Etsy and a Facebook. We're here at Monster Mania to enjoy our day and meet Glenn. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome to Monster Mania. This is the penguin. One more? Excellent, thank you. What you got? Okay, go ahead. All right. I have come here to chew bubblegum and get my ass kicked. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Well, here we are, Roddy Piper. Dave, which one are you going to get? There's a lot to pick from. I'm not getting full. <laughs> what? I'm not, I'm not getting you're full. Not, you're not, you're <laughs> not. You're covered this whole shelf I actually had the blue final shirt out in the car, but I was like, that's back. A great career, a great guy. Everything. How are you? How are you doing? Everybody loves me. Everyone loves me. I was looking for my dog every time. Are you ready? Yes. Got it? Another sinister monster mania. This can't get any crazier. Oh, I can't! <laughs> I heard the Batman's here, and I'm gonna get his little bird friend too. <laughs> Kurt Schaller, Dennis Schaller, father and son, wonderful friends. Um, before you guys go, would you like a uh, an autographed photo? with Robin, the man wonder right here, uh, me? I think I gotta go home and scoop the litter box. Uh, I don't think so, yeah. probably, about time. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna be in full 
Robin costume. Uh, I'll take a rain check, Dave. Guys? Yeah. Good seeing you, man. Seriously? Maybe next time. Anybody else in the photo walk with Burt Ward, the original Boy Wonder in the Batmobile? We're taking a few. Here I am with Brooklyn John Jr. How you doing, bud? Good. And uh, what you got here on your mini Batmobile? Today. Adam West. It says what? To Johnny. Adam West Batman. To Johnny. Adam West Batman. Nice one from Burt Ward. Um, this is built on a Razor go car. We cut it and extended it so it fit the body. And this body is from like the 1960s, like you know, like ride. You put a quarter in and it like moves around and stuff. So this is an actual usable go kart. Yeah. Phenomenal, buddy. Did your dad make this? Yeah, me and my dad made it. I think it's awesome. I don't know what other people think of it. Dave wanted me to say, not a waste, but I'm sorry, it's a waste. Oh! I say we take him out back, kick his butt. <laughs> <laughs>